Hi, got a quick one for you today. A really good one, too. It's by um, Donald Driver. You know the football star? Well, he also wrote some children's books. And it's about, uh, it's about what you could be if you really wanted to be. That name is Quickie Makes the Team. Here's our title page. And here we go. Quickie loved football. It was his favorite sport. He would watch the older kids play every chance he got. As Quickie stood by the fence, he thought to himself, I can do this. I can play. Now Quickie was fast, real fast. No kid in the neighborhood could beat him in a race. Still, the older kids wouldn't let him play football with them because they thought he was too small. One day at school, Quickie couldn't believe his eyes. There was a sign that read, football sign up. Boy, was he excited. After class, Quickie ran up to his teacher asking, Miss Faye, Miss Faye, can I please have a sign up form to play football? With a look of surprise, Miss Faye replied, Now, Quickie, you're too small to play football. Sad and upset, Quickie walked home from school with his head hung low. Sitting on the porch, Mr. Peters noticed Quickie beaten. Quickie began to cry. Well, hello there, Quickie, he said. Why are you so sad? I really want to play football, but everyone says I'm too small, sobbed Quickie. You don't have to be a big guy to play, Mr. Peters replied. Remember, it is what's inside that counts. Quickie knew that Mr. Peters was right. On his way home, he said to himself, I'm not too small. I can do this. I can play. At night, Quickie would dream that one day he would grow up to be a professional football player and play in front of thousands of people. They would all char chant his name, Quickie, Quickie, as he scored the winning touchdown. The next morning before leaving for school, Quickie asked his mother if he could sign up for football. With tryouts only two weeks away, his mom answered, Oh, Quickie, you're too small to play football, and you could get hurt. Maybe you should think about playing another sport. It made Quickie sad, but still he believed that one day he would play. As the family was leaving the house, Mr. Peter stopped Quickie's parents to tell them how upset Quickie was because no one believed he could play football. Quickie's parents told Mr. Peters they would think about letting him try out for football this season. Later that evening, Quickie's dad called his family together. Quickie, he said, you're a big boy, and if you want to play football, then that's what you should do. Remember, you should never give up on your dreams, but you will have to work hard at it. So that night, at dinner, Quickie ate all of his vegetables and drank all of his milk, just as his mom taught him. Every day, Quickie practiced throwing and catching the football with his dad. Practice is very important if you want to be great. Tryout day had finally arrived. Quickie and his best friend, Bill, made their way to the football field as soon as the school bell rang. Quickie carefully listened to the coach, followed all of his directions, and worked hard in every drill. When it was over, Quickie said to Bill, that was hard, but I can do this. I can play.
The next day at school, the names of the boys who made the team were posted on the locker room door. Hooray! Quick and Bill jumped with joy when they saw their names on the list. Weeks after the trials, the team was getting ready for their first game. As Coach Marvin gathered the team together, he said to them, Boys, some of you won't start, but all of you will play. Now let's go out there and do our best. Quickie watched the game, waiting for the coach to let him play. Time was running out, and Quickie felt bad his team was losing. With 30 seconds left in the game, the team needed a touchdown to win. Coach Marvin called for Quickie. Son, we need your speed. Quickie knew if he caught the ball, he could score and help his team win. As the quarterback threw the ball into the air, Quickie reached up and made an awesome catch. The crowd began to cheer. As he came down with the ball, Quickie noticed two blue jerseys chasing him. He glanced over his right shoulder, then over his left. Picking up speed, Quickie dodged the first player, then made a move to on the second, and the crowd began to roar even louder. With the end zone in sight, Quickie knew he was only 20 yards away from scoring the winning touchdown. The crowd jumped and began chanting, Quickie, Quickie, as he crossed into the end zone. Quickie felt just like a professional football player. At that moment, he thought to himself, I knew I could do this. I can play. It doesn't matter how small you are, as long as you have a big heart. That's the message from Donald Driver.